Welcome to Forensics Detectors. Today we're talking about bump testing. And look folks, I have a gas detector. Bump, gas, point, squeeze, shoot, bang. I just undertook a successful bump test. It was less than three seconds. Now folks, what happened? I have my bump gas that's compatible with my gas detector. In this case, it's carbon monoxide. I pointed the bump gas to the sensor inlet, which in this case is our FD-90A carbon monoxide detector. The gas detector responded. It triggered the alarms. I saw the digital display change in numbers. All the alarms triggered LED buzzer and vibration and I undertook a successful bump test. That's what it's all about. Now, as a user, I have confidence that this guy right over here is going to save my life if I am in a precarious situation. I've developed a relationship. I've developed confidence. I've developed assurance. I am now happy to go in a certain situation and I know that this guy's gonna protect me, folks. And that's the whole point of a bump test. It's a procedure. It's a test to build confidence and assurance with your personal gas detector, gas analyzer device. And to do that, you need your bump gas, folks. Yes, your bump gas. Now, to obtain your bump gas, just come to the website, forensicdetectors.com, click on shop, scroll down alphabetically, you'll see bump gas, view all, and then select the appropriate gas for your detector. For example, if I have a carbon monoxide detector, I need my carbon monoxide bump gas. Bang, pop it in your cart, and then you're good to go. Very, very simple. Or you could do the opposite, go to shop. Let's say we know we have a carbon monoxide detector, scroll down, click, let's obtain my FD-90A model CO, click, scroll down, and you will see the recommended bump gas for this product. In this case, it's under accessories, sold separate bump gas in brackets, CO. Click on that and it takes you to the carbon monoxide bump gas. Pop that in your cut and you're good to go. It comes in a 10 liter can. It comes with a straw. And at the top, it comes with a tab. You have to take that off, take the tab off, and then you can Depress the trigger and it will work. It will expel the gas onto your gas detector, folks. That's the way it works. Quite simple. Now, what comes with this gas can is a certificate of assurance. It is a certificate that tells you exactly how much carbon monoxide or specific gas is in the unit. In this case, it's 194. We ordered it to 200 ppm, but it came 194, and I got that number from my certificate. And I can use this now to bump test my carbon monoxide gas detector. And our recommendation is to bump test daily. Our recommendation is to bump test before the day's work. Our recommendation is to bump test before you're going into a precarious situation, folks. Quite simple. If you haven't used the unit for a few days, well, it's time to bump test before we take the unit onto the field. If I haven't used the unit for one month, well, it's time to bump test and then I can continue using the device, folks. That's the way bump test works. It's a matter of bump testing before you go on to your day's work. If you haven't used the unit, for a prolonged period of time, obviously charge the battery, turn it on, make sure it works well, make sure it's within the calibration period. We recommend roughly 12 months calibration period. If you're within that period, then it's time to bump test. If your unit fails bump testing, well, there's something wrong. Maybe the sensor has failed. Maybe it's out of calibration. Maybe you're not using the right bump gas. You want to double check that. And maybe you want to double check your gas detector. Maybe you think this is a carbon monoxide detector when it's actually an ammonia detector, folks. So just check your back label, check all the labels, make sure it's compatible, and just cross check all the basic things first. Now, if it does fail, let us know and we can bring it in for a free diagnostic and check it for you. Or we could check the serial number and see how old it is. Maybe it's time to replace the unit. These guys typically have a lifetime from two to three years, folks. Now, if you have the FD-90A, that was straightforward. The sensor hole is at the front. Now, you may have a model 600, which looks like this. It's our professional analyzer with a built-in pump, so air is drawn from the top nozzle 
onto the unit into the sensor. Now, Dr. Kaz, it's drawing the air. Is it the same procedure? Yes, it is. But in this case, because the nozzle is quite small, I like to use your standard tubing pop it on. And the nice thing is, is that this little straw fits nicely in the tubing. Let me get that there. And give it a squirt until you have triggered the alarms. Bang. That was, what was that? Probably is less than two seconds, folks. I have confirmed it's operating, it's vibrating, LEDs are running, the digital digits have gone up, now they're going down, and it's functioning as it should, and it was also vibrating if I didn't mention that, folks. So again, I conducted a successful bump test on a gas analyzer with a built-in pump. Likewise, we have our Model 600M, very similar to the Model 600, the bigger brother, more expensive, more sophisticated, it has data logging, here it is. Again, I'll go ahead, I'll undertake a bump test, it'll take less than 10 seconds in total, I'll put the tube on, it's carbon monoxide, I have a carbon monoxide can, let me just pop in the straw, I'm gonna give it a squirt, bang. Confirmed. It was vibrating, LEDs were flashing, the digits went up, they went down, and I am confident this guy's now operating and functional, folks. Again, it's a functional test. Dr. Cars, what about the wall mount version? That's the one I have. This is our FD-60 wall mount version. How do we bump test this guy over here? Again, it's carbon monoxide. I have a carbon monoxide can right over there, and we bump test at the bottom over here, folks. At the bottom is the sensor mesh. That's where the air molecules enter the sensor, just like so. Couple of seconds. Bang. So in this case, we have an LED and buzzer only, no vibration. Numbers went up, now they're coming down. It triggered the alarms and I'm confident that this guy is now operating and working. But Dr. Cuz, this is always permanently fixed onto the wall. It's always operating. So these wall mount units continuously operate. In this situation, we recommend weekly bump testing, folks. So please have that in your maintenance schedule to weekly bump test your wall mount monitors. Also, a few other common questions we receive. Dr. Cuz, I got my 10 liter can, but it's empty. I can't hear anything. Folks, this is not propane gas usually with your propane tanks for your grills and barbecues at home you can feel the liquid propane it's condensed to a liquid form and you could actually feel it it's swishing around in your tank at home that's propane in most cases when it comes to bump gases there is no liquidification of the gas it does not condense so you may think there's nothing in there but indeed there is 10 liters if you take off the tab and then you squeeze you can then notice air is being expelled. You could hear it with your ear. Dr. Cars, what about ozone gas? Well, ozone is a unique gas. We have unique ozone generators for ozone bump testing. Please use ozone generator for ozone bump testing. Ozone is unique. We have to produce it. It cannot live in a can because it will degrade down to O2, oxygen. So for ozone, specifically only for ozone, please use our ozone generator for bump testing. Another common question is, Dr. Cuz, must I spray it for two seconds or three seconds? Well, for different gases, it could be slightly different. For example, for ammonia, the response time is a little bit longer. You may need to spray your bump gas for a full 10 seconds before we trigger the alarm. For carbon monoxide, as you saw, it's two to three seconds. So keep that in mind. It could be up to 10 to 20 seconds. Now, also, please take note, your alarm thresholds could have been adjusted very, very high. So make sure they are low enough where one can trigger the alarms. Bump test is a procedure to confirm operation, operation of your gas detector. Calibration is to ensure accuracy of the unit, that it's performing accurately and it's giving you accurate data points. That's the main difference, folks. I hope you all be safe and see you soon.